So we're kind of looking at um, various solutions, but just just bear in mind that we're committed to whenever possible um, to deliver all the product lines. And the alternative product lines are only there in case you want to receive things quicker, it has better specs. So we're just as an alternative for people who want different options, we're just delivering that. So if the X is still in play, the the um the ARM version of the X is still in play, and Prism, which is an alternative for those who don't want the ARM, who wants the delivery quicker, um, which is a very compelling small form factor uh, version of the abacus alternative to abacus that has an intel board so if you i think if people look at the specs and once we get some of them to hand i think you guys will be really excited to have those options available we're just doing everything we can to make sure you have you guys have a good product that's available to you that we can deliver that's kind of where we're coming from in terms of that perspective um and just to kind of remove any kind uh, any um confusion so those are the three product lines that are available yeah no i agree um and i mean for p people who are worried about the form factor of the prism right it's it is different to the abacus board but the power that you're getting in, i mean if you look at the size of your hand, I, I don't have a ruler with me, but actually I do. I can basically confirm that it's no bigger than about seven centimeters in each direction. It's absolutely tiny. Um, so I wouldn't worry too much. If, if form factor is a big deal, then I would stay with the X. But if you want more power, a greater spec, two terabyte ssd i mean that's more than what most laptops like flagship laptops ship with nowadays i would switch to prism yeah i mean the reason for the prism is that like basically a lot of you guys were saying that we spoke to and some of them requesting they really want a small form factor um powerful piece uh, intel windows pc that was kind of our motivation for offering that as an option for those backers who were very keen on that and it's a very small form factor and we did look at adding attaching a keyboard to the prism but the height is a bit higher it's a small form factor so it just looks stupid if you add the keyboard obviously it would be easier for us if we just attach this keyboard but like how does that make sense from a product perspective yeah so exactly. like that's that's the reason behind it and I think for like if you guys get it, you will understand why it makes more sense for us to like rather than using a shittier board and then they're like and say this is Abacus X, this is a form factor that makes sense that we've considered. Um we've considered and you guys I feel like will be happy with. Because we spoke to more than 30 of you guys about like why you bought the Abacus, what was the motivation? And a lot of you, for you, a lot of you guys, the main motivation was you want a small, powerful kind of pocket rocket that you can work with. And for some people, Windows is like a must. Uh, and Intel is a must. So we, we were looking at doing uh, Windows for ARM. Um, but it's a bit like with the drivers and everything, it's a bit tricky to, um, to execute that properly. So that's why we've kind of uh, offered that as an option. And I love I feel like a lot of people are quite excited about that as well. Um, so that's kind of, yeah, that's the, uh, that's the motivation behind that. 100%. Um, I mean, so what would you say the delivery time frame is? Delivery time frame is, I mean, I don't want to say something and then that it's... it's no, of course, that, but exactly. a guesstimate uh, would be... Yeah. Nice for the people. I think the other thing as well is we have boards. That's the main thing. Um, so we're not committing to this without the ability to secure boards. Yeah. So those are like you guys. Are, it's it's really hard to kind of explain like how difficult it is to source these boards, and like and all the components that are involved, especially when you're below ten thousand units. Like, do you think I, I? We're not here to kind of. 
we're not here. We, we're delivering as many as possible, and it's difficult for us to like see you guys frustrated. And we're here to deliver as many of these boards as possible. But these boards are definitely possible. The other boards we tried to like, oh, it was such a mess. On it anyway. Long story short, those are definitely possible to deliver, especially the arm ones. Um. <sighs> So basically we have two options. One is to have like a finish that we're not really happy with, but you guys can get it sooner. Or the other option is to like have a finish that makes sense. Like like any everyone who got the abacus, I think they were very impressed by the finish. For example, like the recycled ABS, the black version, like it has six layers of paint, it's the same paint as the BMW buttons, it can withstand the soft touch. I think those kind of things are very important. Um, yeah, so that's kind of where we're coming from. Um, in terms of the dates, like, I mean, without a hard commit, we were going to ship out the first, uh, the first arm, arm versions in the next coming, like, three to four weeks. And then, um, and then the, the prism after that. Um, yeah. Yeah, Kugu is saying. Kugu has been a supporter of us for a very long time. We loved you from the beginning. Um, yeah, and hopefully we can get it to your wife so she can use it for a PhD as soon as possible. Okay, the keyboard box is a non-issue. Okay, that's... Yeah, I think... In that case, Kugu, we'll definitely try to get the prism to you ASAP. Um, that makes sense. Um... What else? What are the remaining topics? I think... I just wanted to say one thing. Hey guys, any new joiners? Um, yeah, give me a message. Uh, give us a message if you have any other questions. Yeah, Ronnie, let me know what else. Yeah, sorry, one second. I'm just yeah. having details and something. Yeah, so I was just going to say the mini PC, right, is the prism right it's because basically so when we started the x right there was a there were i mean the boards were available and then obviously the chip shortage happened and intel bought all our slots they just came in and wiped us out for these boards right um and then people said oh well now it's you know now i'm not going to have the right performance oh i'm you know i'm going to get it in three years time and it's not going to be the right level for me um and so this is where the prism comes from right so you are still able to have the x if you would like there's no change in the offerings this is just an alternative with a slightly different form factor i mean if the connecting keyboard is not an issue for you then i would personally just choose prism the the power this thing has compared to the x is incredible and it's like 15 watts max draw which is ever so slightly more than the x um but can still run off like decent sized anchor power bank or a u green power bank for good i mean we haven't tested it of course we can test it for you um but the run times would be good from it and the other thing as well is it's running DDR5, which is the latest RAM, which is very important, very fast. I mean, all your Windows, all, everything would be snappy and quick. Um, and the other thing as well is it's got two terabytes of storage. I mean, you could you could do whatever you want with two terabytes of storage. The Prism will be coming with a keyboard, um, but it won't be able to connect, uh, connect sorry, to the main Prism unit. But it will still have the same like Infini Connect system where you can just start typing you don't have to plug in any dongles or do anything else um 
Will you guys produce any keyboards with a U? We can produce US, can't we, June? Sorry? US keyboard layout. I think US is the default. Is it? Oh, okay, that's yeah, good. Yeah. yeah. Um, but there are some basically... people who wanted the Azerti and that kind of stuff. I think that is. No. Really... Yeah. yeah. Um, so the Prism is completely free to upgrade to as well. There's no extra cost. If you're VIP, there's no, there's no shipping fee. It will cost the same to ship it as well as the Abacus. Maybe even slightly cheaper. I'll have to confirm. But um, yeah. And we are, you're not waiting at Square One for another product to be manufactured as it's going ahead so quickly that I wouldn't even class it as like waiting at this point, if that makes sense. Like, um, oh, USPD is completely possible. You can run it off a power bank or like just any sort of phone charger, anything. Anything with power delivery, like uh, if you have a laptop, most new laptops can run power delivery. Um, most like phone chargers can do power delivery. Anything above 20 watts USB-C will be able to run the prison. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, is there a spec sheet for the Prism? There are specs on Kickstarter and there are specs in the Instagram. I Should we just post them. this, like, um, it, Ronnie, maybe yeah. on the, like, announcements? Or yeah, they're there already. Oh, they're already there. Then I think it's, yeah. Uh, yeah. Or should we make it this into, like, uh, maybe it's hard for people to understand because it's yeah, just a Yeah, that's pack. why I want to clear yeah. up that 12th gen is, a, I mean, 12th gen. And, okay, so some of you might ask, like, so 14th gen Intel is out, right? Um, I'm not sure if people are aware, but unfortunately with Intel, their 13th and 14th gen CPUs have been degrading um, due to a manufacturing defect. So unfortunately, it means that you could buy a brand new 400 US dollar CPU and it could fail within a year. Um, so this is why 12th gen is also great because it offers similar performance to 13th gen, right? And it's just as powerful, let's say, you know, in quotation marks, of course, um, and runs at a slightly lower TDP, the CPU, so you're power efficient. And then it also provides an insane amount of performance. Is the Prism upgradable? The Prism is upgradable with its storage, um, not with the RAM due to the form factor, same as the Abacus. Um, however, the storage is upgradable and it's m.2 nvme so yeah and... we're happy to make a demo video uh, as well like before yeah. but let me yeah but i guess the main priority is to get it manufactured and delivered and maybe one of you guys can make a demo video <laughs> <laughs> after you get it um mm -mm. Uh, we've also, so just to point out, shipping for the Abacus from the UK, which we will mainly do, for US was now uh, dropped to $28, which is um, airmail and will arrive in five working days. Uh, to Europe, it's still 23 euros, I think it is, 25 euros, um, which has come down still. Uh, and that same three to five working days. And then for APAC, APAC was still confirming because we might be shipping from factory if possible. Um, but otherwise, it will be about 35 US uh, dollars. We, we do have a prism now, but unfortunately, Sam's taken it to Indonesia as he's working on currently getting it all going, manufacturing everything. Uh, the prism will come with the same Abacus style keyboard as well. Wait, wait. But prism, like the idea is not, it's not integrated. No, but it will yeah. still come with a keyboard. Yeah, if you guys want. But I think, yeah, if you guys want. <laughs> uh, the NVMe form factor is 2242. Um, so slightly stubby NVMe. 
but they're sold by all the major companies: Samsung, Integral, um, Kingston, Western Digital. You know, Corsair even sell on Crucial, sell on. They're they're using laptops mainly, um, and they're great little boards. I personally have two plugged into my computer right now, actually. Uh, so customer support moving forwards. It's difficult, right? Because obviously there's three of us. So you do have to um, be a little bit, you know, we, we're three guys, right? Like when we respond to 1,000 messages, it's difficult. Um, so, but we are going to move towards more constant regular updates, maybe one every two weeks, one every week, just every now and then little picket bits to add to the announcements. And these will be posted on Kickstarter and stuff as well. Um, and yeah, are oh, the Genesis edition clear? Yeah, so June, we are still doing the clears to the prism, aren't we? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, um, but you might have to, depending on uh, um, like working with the factory, I need to speak to Sam, yeah, about so it might be there might be a variance in the timeline between the different models. Okay. Uh, um. Yeah. There will be. Oh, you. You'll be able to. We might even do a, a aluminium CNC version as well, which yeah. I think will be very sexy. Um, um. And then with the custom backplates. Yeah. Uh, are they still going ahead? Yeah. With the prism. Yeah. Uh, we need to think about how we're gonna. We might ask you to re-upload uh, the backplate because it's a different form factor. With the prism, um, plus you might want to change it after all these months. Yeah, um, and also I'll just follow up with Sam like regarding how that might work as well. Yeah. Hundred um, percent. Yeah, but guys, overall, I just want to thank all of you for bearing with us, and also for those who've kind of received it. Like vast majority, we're really happy, and we're really glad that it is in people's hands, and they're really happy and using it. And we're really grateful you guys have been waiting. And we understand, like, we backed Kickstarters it before. Um, and we're here to deliver every single one. Trust me, we're, like, working really hard to make sure ensure that happens. We're looking at all the solutions to deliver as soon as possible. Um, and making a lot of effort, the team and everyone, to um, make sure it happens. Um, and we're just really grateful that you guys are here with us. Even those people who are angry, at least it means that you guys really care about the product, right? So um, we're super grateful. And I think once we get through this, there will be a really strong community. That's what I, I, we believe, at least. And um, yeah, we're really happy. Yeah, thanks. Uh, <laughs> if you want to upgrade um, another bloke from Prism, sorry, from Abacus Plus to Prism, uh, can you just shoot me a message and I'll can help you sort it out. Yeah, I think that'll be. Uh, and that goes the same for anyone else as well. If you'd like to upgrade from Plus to Prism, just shoot me a message. I can sort it all out for you. Um, yeah, I mean, when will I? Can you tell us what we might expect in the future company? Where is some hint of the next big thing? June, do you want to cover that? Sorry. Um. Can you tell us what the might what we might be able to expect in the future of the company? What are some hints as to the next big thing that we can get excited to buy? Oh, good question. I mean, right now, like we don't want to think about any next big things before we properly delivered every single like every last of the abacus that's been ordered, because I think that would be unfair for the other customers. Um, but we have a lot of ideas um, in terms of like we're developing new IP to have ones that are like dissolvable we're looking at also like a hardware based form new ai form factor we have an interesting idea for a smart post smartphone form factor hardware and things like that but all of these i think are sort of i think the main priority is to ensure that we deliver every single one of the abacus right because otherwise like like what's the point of a new shiny product if you haven't like really um delivered yet but i think trust us like we have lots of ideas for like a like exciting um form factor royal mail like out of the uk yeah so royal mail are our shipping partner um and we have 
international shipping line set up with them because they would take our individual parcels and we could run that from our office because right so for people who don't know the the whole issue with shipping was there's a whole crisis in the Houthi uh, the Suez Canal with the Houthis and it meant that shipping via sea was terrible and then um if we had and then because we had 1500 units a lot of freight forwarders wouldn't touch us because the volume was just not a lot for them and it wasn't worth all the paperwork and hassle and filling it out um so then we spoke with Romail. I have some ties with the Romail already um, through some contacts. We spoke with them and they were happy to sort us out. So now we do all our shipping through Romail. Um, and we've only, so we've shipped about 300 so far and we've only had one that's had an issue and that was to Canada. Um, so Romail are absolutely amazing. I cannot fault them in any way at this point. Um, they are pretty good, pretty good company. Um, and they're the cheapest option at the moment. We we because we tried DHL, we tried FedEx, we tried this, we tried like we tried UPS, all your major brands, right? And they were coming back at silly, silly quotes because they wanted they wouldn't do like a five business day. It was quite difficult to find a good system. Um, so in the UK, it's if you're ordering an abacus, it can be Royal Mail forty eight hour or Royal Mail twenty four hour or Royal Mail special delivery. We can do all three. Um, 48 hour being the cheapest and special delivery being the most expensive. And then it's just Royal Mail International Service. We have an express service with them, which can ship quicker um, to anywhere in the world, but obviously for a higher price. How will the customs look coming from Royal Mail to the US? Um, it's really easy for us. I'm um, for, for you guys on the other end, it should just land and come straight to your house. There shouldn't be any issues. Um, for us, it's really easy. It just comes on a prepaid label with another prepaid label and then you just stick them on the parcel and it's great for us um and then royal mail have also given us a bunch of eco-friendly labels which is really nice um and yeah it goes through your local i think it's us you know the united states postal service um which is the sort of secondary company when it lands in america for through royal mail and guys, also, if you guys do receive it, we'll also be very grateful if you guys can post a video as well of you guys using it. Because um, we delivered quite a lot, but no one's like making a video. I think people are making pictures and stuff. Yeah, so if you I guys mean, can make yeah. any videos, we'll be really grateful as well. Um, and also for the website order visibility, I think we are working on that. Obviously, we're a small team. We try to make an account creation and that kind of stuff. Um, eventually, we will try to move everything to that direction so you guys can yeah. see the orders and update it there. And we have just one central database for... Um, for... Uh, the other thing as well. Yeah. Um, I was just... Ah, yes. For those who said there's 15 in stock on the website, they're actually not in stock. It, the Shopify is completely bugged. Um, so I've called them on the back end and they're going to sort it out for us. Um, yeah, I think I think we should just put pre-order or whatever. Like, I think people yeah. are confused. They're like accusing us of like, like selling more product. Bear like... in mind, right? So, guys, Kickstarter, Indiegogo, and the Shopify, the pre-Shopify orders are the number one priority, right? If you get it on the website, it doesn't come any quicker than buying it through the Kickstarter, the the backers that support us, right? Because um, a few of you had questions saying, "Oh, it's on the website, and are you shipping it through the website?" Um, and uh, basically, basically, no is the answer. Um, you can buy it through the website if you're a brand new customer. That's not a problem. But it won't mean that you get it any faster than our Kickstarter backers. Do you need any volunteers? Do you, Gene? I mean, like, if you were, depending on what <coughs> you need, but I think the main one is probably, like, kind of customer service and queries. Like, definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm help with that but um if you guys are active we'll read more than happy uh, do, 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 do. What I don't, uh, went uni. uh no so the whole system with the w website is it won't show an order confirmation until you've paid for shipping right um but we have your orders right because i i I can upload every single order to Shopify, but it's 
it's not worth the time and the effort for me currently because of us being a team of three, right? Like, I can do it. I can ma I can automatically put it in, but it's just not worth it um, because I don't know as well who's creating accounts and who's not creating accounts, right? Um, but for as long as you've got a screenshot up there, it means that you will automatically get sent an email, right? So the system knows that um, the system knows that you're a backer. It checks your screenshot and then goes, okay. We, we can match it, the address looks fine, the email looks fine, or whatever, and then it sends you the email, right? Um, and shipping with the VIP is literally just a discount code. It wipes out the entire price. You go through the same checkout process. I think, unfortunately, you still have to put your card details in, but um, it wipes out the whole process. So the whole fee is zero, 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 whatever. And then, but you can update your address, your phone number, your email, and everything so that we have the correct information to ship to and where to ship to. Uh, actor, I really, I'm sorry, do not know how to pronounce your name. Um, how is it the Google form? I can drop a link for everyone here. Yeah. Um, I can do the but link. But Ronnie, now. we should try to move uh, to the database on. Of course, yeah, yeah, as much as possible. But I know, like, we're busy right now. But I'm just saying that will help clarity for everyone. I think. Um. Yeah. No. Hundred percent. We have fronds and whatever, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, for now, like, the back end of the systems are all perfectly fine, guys. Um, like, I wouldn't... It, well, I don't worry if you create an account and it says your order isn't there. We, we know your order is there, and we can see when you create an account as well, so we know that, A, you're still engaging with us, um, and B... We know that you're there, your information's up to date, so you'll be first in line for the shipping, right? Whereas if you're someone who hasn't made an account and does it in two months' time and two months' worth of product to ship, you might miss out. That's the only thing. So just keeping the account on the website is really important. Um, and it's great, yeah. I click send and nothing happens. Is that normal? I'm not really sure. Is this the, re oh, is this the refund form? Um, June, you'll have to check that because it's on your end. Um, I think it's Ronnie. It might be the the opt-in form. Maybe, maybe no, no, it's the refund form. It's you know the one that's in the Kickstarter. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just check if there's any responses. If not, can you send a link again? Yeah, I think it's. Otherwise, guys, I mean the roadmap is pretty clear for us at the moment. Um, we can create a graphic as well if you feel that's necessary um obviously dates and times might be slightly up in the air because 101 can happen things can happen we're a startup right um but we can create a timeline for you guys showing you where we are where our next steps are if that's what you feel you would like oh and the other thing as well is um, for the pictures that were shown in the Kickstarter update um, for the Prism, it's a 3D printed case. It was printed in about 30 minutes on a Creality printer just to test um, fitment issues for the boards. There was no I.O. printed because 3D printing with holes like that can be difficult. I mean, a Creality printer should be fine, but we didn't need the holes to test fit the product. so. Um, that's why they're not there. You don't have to remove the case to access the I.O. I mean, that would be a pretty silly product design end on our um, on our end. So I wouldn't worry about it. Um, and the case would still be the injection molded style and everything with the same recycled ABS or the clear polycarbonate. Uh, when would we spec spec specify clear? Um, so clear was only available when you backed the product um it was it's not available now unless you'd like to pay for the upgrade it was slightly more expensive backing but you got the clear product account on pentaform but could not load the screenshot 
Okay, makes sense. Uh, so pluses, pluses, we're waiting on a few more to come in. We did ship a load of them. Um, I don't have the figure on the top of my head, but we are getting more boards in for plus. Um, but the ones that we shipped went really well, actually. The, the guys we've shipped them to, we got really nice reviews back from, and everyone seems to be enjoying them. I know some of the moderation team got a few as well. Um, I think if Nostalgia's here, maybe he can tell you, or a couple other guys. I think Ender, did I send you one? I think we were sent you one. Um, so if you back clear, that's what you'll get by default. Yes, um, that's what you'll get. You can, can, can they opt out of clear, June? I don't think they can, can they? What do you mean opt out of clear? Like they don't want the clear? Yeah, so what if they don't want the clear anymore? I mean, you guys can add tell it. Yeah. What's, it should send you to a page that just says form response submitted. If not, I can sort it and DM you a link later on. Um, just an updated fix link with a fixed form if that's a problem. That's not an issue. You'll just have to give me maybe till the end of the day, till about six, six o'clock. Fabulous. I guess we're on the prison production and uh, delivery. June? Uh, I reckon it would be around like two weeks after the the arm one, which is come maybe like in three, four weeks, something like that. Um, yeah, so, pr so probably mid-October, right? End of, sort of end of October, I'd say. Yeah, we tried to move yeah. as quickly as possible um, on these. Yeah. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, I think we'll close out in about six minutes. So if there's any final questions, yeah. feel free. let us know. Um, But I must say, with the prism, we do have boards, right? Where we we know, obviously, fingers crossed, anything can happen. But I, we're not going to get bought by Intel. They're not going to buy our slots or buy the boards off us. Um, so it should be demonstration videos will be coming. Um, but Sam has taken our current prototypes to Indonesia just to get the manufacturing going like instantly, um, like as soon as possible. So. When he comes back, which I think is next week, isn't it? Yes, he'll be back next week. Yeah, so next week we can maybe but, shoot. But yeah, yeah, but I think with the demo video, there's like other stuff in terms of um, uh, priorities in terms of getting the production ready. Yeah. So they don't like, don't like, it's like we would try to get the demo as soon as possible. Like, it's not yeah. like we don't want to, because um, I think getting it to you is more important than us making a demo video. Um, yeah, just FYI. Um, but we will make a demo video. You've seen our demo videos, and they're fine. Uh, oh, thank you, Confess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, you really appreciate. Yeah, we are um, doing everything we can, and we're glad that like, I, I mean, like, I think I would be frustrated too. I understand. Um, yeah. But like, but we're glad that those people, majority of people who are receiving it, they're really happy. And um, yeah, I think um, and from you guys on Kickstarter, yeah, I'm happy to do that. Um, yes, the form seems to be broken, but I will send you a rather update. I'd rather see an instruction video after I have it. Yeah, no, we will be posting um, tutorials. We can post some tutorials. Um, that's not a problem of things like how to install different apps or, you know, how to adjust these settings. Um, that's not a problem. Oh, thanks, guys. Uh, uh, um... 
I think in terms of delivery, we're trying to do it as much as possible based on VIP and order number. So like if you ordered it first, I think that's the right thing to do. Um, un unless like, but it might not match exactly your number because it might be based on like, oh, if you like, you might be lower on the number, but you did the VIP first. So like there's like various different factors when it comes to, or you've signed yeah. up on the previous website. And like there's different factors, so but like I think we're trying to do as much as possible in terms of like uh, yeah the numbers the order when when people ordered if that makes sense. Hundred percent, yeah. And um, just based on region, it might we might do a test batch to Europe, just like yeah ten products just to see because although Royal Mail is our shipping partner, we do sometimes have to check that items do get there. And it's easier to get a product returned from um, Europe than it is to get one returned from America. So once we send 10, then we might send 200 to America, right? That's what you've got to remember. Because um, we know the majority of our backers are some, like, majority are Americans. So we understand. <laughs> Can you say what order number you're on? Um, it's hard to say off the top of my head. Um, just due to the fact that we've shipped VIPs first, we've shipped um, and then others. But I would say it probably stands well in the 280s, 300s in terms of total product shipped. Yeah, the Prism is actually amazing little powerhouse. It's, um, I mean, 12th gen Intel and in the size of your hand is, and it's 15 watts like in total. It's incredible. I mean, you can run it off a power bank, 12th gen Intel. Like, there's still laptops that are being made with 12th gen Intel. Obviously, with slightly more powerful CPUs because they have powerful batteries and bigger size and whatnot. But it's a pocket rocket at the end of the day. Um, you can whip it out and do your tasks, no problems at all. And the fact that you can put two terabytes of storage in it, guys, is like incredible. I mean, that's more than standard games con games consoles ship with now. Um, I think we'll take this one final question and then we're going to have to head off to a meeting. Perfect. Thanks so much, guys. Um... Oh, very helpful. Thank you very much. And... Yeah. And I think. Um... We might try and do one one of these every month or one of these every three weeks now again. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, I think if you guys find that helpful, yeah, from our perspective, we really want to just make sure that the product gets to you as soon as possible, because I feel like at some point you just want to hear, you don't want to hear from us, you want to actually get the product. But if you guys find it more helpful to know exactly what's going on step by step, we're also happy to do that. You know, yeah. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Oh, look at all these cute cats. <laughs> Alright guys, I think we right. need to off, but thanks a lot for joining Thank again. You for joining. And, um, yeah, love the community. Alright.